The front page of the Japan t Times, no surprises as Abe meets Trump in Tokyo. I would assume that for Shinzo Abe, this trip so far has been going perfectly. I think so too. Uh, you're right uh, for Shinzo Abe as well as Donald Trump. I think uh, it's a great uh, uh, trip. And I agree with uh, uh, Japan Times because uh, I think it's planned that way and it's very much expected. Usually these uh, state visits, they'll never fail. It's a great success <laughs> all the time. Yeah, I guess the, one of the worries would be if the, Donald Trump went off script and perhaps hit Japan heavily on the trade surplus it has with the United States, as well as the threat that he has imposed on Japan, as well as the EU on these auto tariffs. They avoided those subjects for the most part. I think so, but now, of course he mentioned about uh, trade surplus uh, we have uh, with the United States in the press conference, but uh, I don't think he went so far as to hit us or whatever. I think usually uh, on these uh, summit talks, uh, leaders would uh, refer those to ministers and uh, ask them to accelerate, instruct them to accelerate. M more pleasantries yesterday, yes. yes. <laughs> Of course, we, we had this news as well that um, there will be the purchase of 105 F-35s. Nothing really helps uh, relations like buying a large amount of military equipment, does it? Well, I'm sorry, I don't think we could hear Paul's question. There's some uh, background noise. But let me just ask you again, uh, one thing that did dominate the news conference was the China situation. Um, obviously, this is a big issue with the United States, but was it important for Japan to show solidarity with the United States in light of the increased rhetoric coming from Beijing and the United States? On yes, I think uh, Japan uh, would like to stay on with the United States. Uh, for example, China's intellectual property rights is a problem to us as well. And uh, uh, I think uh, it's not, uh, I think, uh, the situation that Japan is sort of in between and sort of meddling or whatever, it doesn't happen. I think we are very steadfastly with the United States on that issue. But uh, of course, China is a very important trading partner for us, the number one, so we'll continue to trade with China. Okay, yet, Sherry Ann is going to ask a question out of New York. And yet, Mr. Ambassador, how does the Japanese people feel about how the U.S. is steadfastly with you? I mean, we have seen President Trump saying that he's in no rush to deal with North Korea, despite the recent missile launches. We're also hearing that he wants something out of the Japan-U.S. trade agreement by August. And we've heard from Prime Minister Abe's own Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary Yasutoshi Nishimura that, that there was no such agreement. So does Japan really count the U.S. as its closest ally at this point? Yes, I think there's no doubt about it. Uh, we need the United States uh, in view of our uh, situation with North Korea and China. And uh, so I think uh, the alliance is uh, as uh, firm as uh, any time. And uh, as for the, those two issues you raised, uh, North Korea, maybe, I think, it, uh, Mr. President uh, would like to show that he's uh, sort of a good cop. He doesn't mind small things and uh, let uh, Bolton or Pompeo uh, deal with the uh, uh, issues. Uh, uh, and he tried to sort of s step back and uh, try to be a, a grandpa-like figure. And maybe uh, that's useful. I don't know if that, that kind of uh, division of labor is there, but I sort of felt that way. And for trade. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't think there was any agreement to finish, but uh, uh, accelerate. And uh, I think the uh, president uh, expected last time that uh, he would like to see some uh, agreement made by his visit this time. And now he said August. That's his uh, feeling, and there's no discrepancy, I think. One of the reasons that uh, the Jap Japanese and the United States have decided to announce any kind of progress on the trade deal uh, until August is because of the July elections, the upper house and then possibly even the lower house. We do know that Shinzo Abe wants to uh, change the pacifist constitution. We have Abe and Trump visiting soldiers today in Yokotska. Uh, he's going to visit the Kaga warship, which can be refitted for, uh, what, uh, F-35B fighter jets. 
Japan has not had an aircraft carrier since World War II, uh, and Trump even expressed his support for increased defense capabilities. Will these elections coming up in July, will that solidify the LDP and Shinzo, Shinzo Abe's quest to ratify the Constitution? Uh, first, uh, as for relations with the trade talks and election, I don't think that's that clear. Uh, I think the uh, leaders wanted to accelerate the agreement. The uh, uh, president said uh, he would expect something to come out by August, but I, I don't think there's any agreement. You can't set the target date on those things. As for uh, the uh, destroyer Kaga, it's not an aircraft carrier, a huge aircraft carrier like the United States has. Of course, it can carry some uh, 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 spiders, uh, but uh, that's all. But, uh, as for the Constitution, uh, yes, uh, maybe uh, Mr. Abe would like to sort of press this, but uh, in Japan there's a uh, lot of uh, other arguments, and I think we have to see if uh, that will be the main issue in the election. I think uh, 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 Prime Minister would not like to put it as the main issue in no. the election, <laughs> but uh, people know that, uh, hey, uh, this is going to be an issue, so we'll have to see if that, uh, pe how people will react to that. Yeah, right. So uh, the Prime Minister, of course, as Steve mentioned, has his own domestic issues with the pacifist constitution. How much political capital has he got left to push through a free trade deal with the U.S.? I mean, given that Japan never wanted this, never wanted a bilateral deal, they had the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the U.S. pulled out. So how much political capital does he have left? I think uh, uh, it was great success that in last September, Prime Minister and President was able to put sort of framework for this uh, trade agreement uh, that the agricultural uh, concession we will make is at TPP level and uh, that American uh, side will not take unilateral action during the negotiations. So I think uh, it's not going to be a huge setback for Japan uh, on either Odo or uh, on agriculture. Yes, uh, Prime Min uh, President said in press conference yesterday that he's not going to be bound by TPP. That has nothing to do with him. But that means that he's not going by, I think, a TPP agreement per se itself. But there's an agreement that uh, where we can go is about the TPP level. And uh, I think that stands.